So in your shelter, how do you know if a cat is shedding toxoplasmosis? You don't. You do a blood test. You analyze a fecal sample. You see clinical signs, so they should be sick if they're shedding toxoplasmosis. Or A and C, you don't, or you analyze a fecal sample. Take your best guess. This is when it gets harder. This is when the veterinary students are glad they're not here today for this quiz. Because this stuff is tricky. Let's see how you did. Good, 63% of you. A and C both apply. The truth is, most of the time, we probably don't know because we're not looking for it in all the cats. Unless you're doing a fecal sample in every cat and you're essentially doing it every 14 days, you may miss a cat shedding. Now, the truth is the, the we estimate that only about 1% of cats are shedding at any moment in time, but they are shedding and you may not know it. If you do a fecal sample, you may catch toxoplasmosis. If your lab is good at catching it and properly identifying it, it's a coccidia. It can look a lot like isospora. It can look a lot like the other coccidias that we'll talk about later today. Um, and so there is some concern that sometimes it can be misdiagnosed even in a lab. Certainly it may be misdiagnosed if you're doing your fecals in-house. Um, and so you may not know or you may catch it in a fecal sample. You cannot identify it by a blood sample. So going back to choice B, you cannot identify shedding through a blood test. The blood test tells you whether or not a cat or a person was exposed historically. Tells you nothing about active disease or nothing about the cat shedding at the moment. Okay. Clinical signs in cats. Some of them will get sick from toxoplasmosis and you will see clinical signs. And what this is associated with, most of them won't. Most of them simply, they will ingest the parasite, they will shed oocysts, and they'll be absolutely clinically normal. If they do develop signs, it has to do with the replication. So it has to do with that letter A picture of when the cysts start breaking open and the what are called tachyzoites start rapidly dividing. And when they rapidly divide, they start destroying cells. And these can be muscle cells, these can be cardiac cells, this can be in the lungs, it can be in fluids, it can be in the brain. And so some of our kittens that fade, some of our kittens that get really sick, may have toxoplasmosis. So in neonates, it's particularly hard on them. Um, and it can actually kill them through essentially a multi-system failure. And so that can sometimes be a reason that you're losing kittens, is that they have actually gotten toxoplasmosis. Um, it likes to show up in the eyeball. And so you get something called a chorioretinitis. This is true in people too. Um, where you will actually see the organisms are dividing and so you get these little granulomas and pockets of infection in the eye along with you may see cysts. And so that's one place that they look um, in human medicine and in veterinary medicine that we may first see that as evidence. 